So here we're looking at comparing coevolution and coadaptation. We see this image here of this flower selecting for a very specific pollinator, or in this case, an insect. So how are these kind of co-evolving, co-adapting together to allow this perfect match to occur? This flower, for whatever reason, may want only this particular type of insect to carry its pollen. Uh, so what's occurring between these two species uh, to allow this very high degree of specificity? So coevolution is a term that describes the long-term evolutionary adjustments of a species to one another. This coevolution is two or more species that exert selective pressures on each other and evolve in response to each other. We see a prime example of that here, where these flowers are, have a very small diameter and are very long, which matches up perfectly with the hummingbird's long beak. A bee would not be a great pollinator for this, uh, but it's, this flower is designing um, its structures to particularly match that of the hummingbird, allowing this coevolution to occur. Because each species is evolving in response to the other, one important feature of coevolution is that the selective environment is constantly changing to allow this to occur over a long period of time. Now, how do we study coevolution? Well, coevolution is studied many levels adaptations of the individuals, interactions between species, and also uh, broad evolutionary patterns. Coadaptation is the reciprocal adaptations of two species. This could refer to species, it could re also refer to adaptations possessed by individuals and or their genotypes and so on. So if we look at an example of coadaptation, we have caterpillars that are secreting honeydew for ants to drink. Well, why would they do this? Well, ants will go out of their way to defend caterpillars against parasitic wasps, which can kill the caterpillars. So the honeydew secretion and defense are coadaptations. The honeydew that is supplied to the ants by the caterpillars will allow or provide the caterpillars with physical protection from the ants from parasitic wasps that can lay an egg and literally um, cause the caterpillar to die. This is an example of a co-adaptation that's occurring. So how does co-adaptation demonstrate co-evolution? Well, biologists often have a strict definition for co-evolution. It's evidence of parallel evolution between taxa, which is referring to a broad uh, definition or classification is required. So this does co-adaptation demonstrate co-evolution? Adaptation is in the short term and uh, evolution is over the long term. And here we have different animal species exhibiting different wings for flight.